rare earth minerals are used in almost every technology you can think of. They're present in cell phones, medical devices, wind turbines, weapons, and much more. But what are they, and why are they important? And are they actually rare? So the term rare earth elements, it refers to 17 chemically similar elements within the lanthanide series. This is Professor Julie Michelle Klinger, a geographer and senior visiting fellow at the Institute for Human Sciences. So if you can picture the periodic table, it's that bar at the bottom. <laughs> elements 57 to 71, plus scandium and yttrium. Reuters special correspondent on commodities, Eric Onstadt, has a bit of the history. The elements were first discovered by a Swedish miner in 1787 near a village called Yttreby. And that gives two of the elements their names, yttrium and ytterbium. Um, there's another one called Prometheum, named after the Greek god that supposedly stole fire from the gods to give it to humans. China is by far uh, the dominant producer. They account for 60% of mine production and 90% of processed rare earths. But interestingly, this wasn't always the case. In the 1980s, for instance, the United States was the biggest producer and Europe had one of the biggest processing plants in the world. They're often described as the vitamins or the spice of industry because they have enabled our technologies to get smaller and faster and stronger and uh, more resilient. Elements like lanthanum and cerium, some of the most common rare earths, are used in TVs and lighting, while the application of erbium and yttrium can range from nuclear power to lasers. There are two broad categories that have really got the spotlight. The first one is military uses. And that can be from night goggles to precision missiles to radar. And of course, that is a very sensitive issue for nations wanting to guard their access to those kind of minerals. The second area is regarding the energy transition. And there are four specific rare earths that are used to make super strong permanent magnets that are used in motors for electric vehicles and for wind turbines. So that is key for most nations' zero carbon targets and cutting greenhouse gases. It's really because of the challenges, the heavy energy and uh, resource and pollution risks that are associated with refining rare earth elements that production has concentrated historically in so few places.